We got some new veterans in the game. So we're going to go over the veteran cards. Then we're going to do some rerolls. So make sure y'all tune into this video. Sit back, relax, feel a good vibe. You know what I'm saying? And let's make some coins, potentially. This could be something that y'all could be doing too. As far as me buying a training, we went ahead and bought some cheap training. Y'all see we have 56K. Don't trip off the lighting in the video, man. We working on all that. I had to move my setup around. So I'm trying to figure out like the perfect placement for the lighting. Plus my screen cracked. So we got a new screen incoming. We got stuff. We working on stuff. You feel me? I'm trying to get the lights and all that stuff together. So we starting off with Tayshawn Gibson. I mean, coverage a little bit low. Zone coverage high. 84 hit power. I don't know. We got 92 speed. Decent. Let's see what his chain direction is. 85. Ooh, that's tough. Let's see what his agility is. 92. I don't know, man. He might be a little slug. He got 86 catching. Don't know if that really matters. I know we got some new ability uh, threshold changes. So y'all let me know what's the best abilities to put on your DBs and put on your safeties. But overall, this card look okay, maybe? Maybe? We got Robert Quinn. Off the rip, 87 speed. Not bad. 89 strength. Power up. You could power him up, though. So it's okay. Not bad. Block Shed is a little suspect at 84. 97 power move and 91 finesse move. Okay, for the theme team slot, not bad. You know what I'm saying? Right outside linebacker. I mean, he not. I don't think he's better than Khalil Mack, but not terrible. Decent car, nothing crazy. That 84 block shed is scary, though. I don't know if I would really rock with him at 84 block shed. But he might do some things because he got that high power move and high finesse move. Josh Norman at 6 foot, 94 speed, 95 inch sale, 94 agility. Okay. Man coverage is terrible. 86 man coverage. Oh my God. His coverage stats is actually terrible, to be honest. For 92, like you put lockdown on him, I think it's plus four on both sides. So what, 96 and 90? I don't know about that. This card is really interesting, bro. 75 strength. I don't know if that really matters. He got 85 catching. Why is his injury 99? I have no idea. Oh, 93 awareness. Let's see what's changed direction. 92. Okay, spec catch is high. He got a little bit of catching attributes but i don't know if that really matters at corner unless he gonna get some crazy animations rg3 with 93 speed 95 throw power i think that warrants him gunslinger so not terrible short accuracy 94 he got 90s across the boards and i saw i think he hit every single threshold this is not a bad car throwing a run 95 throwing the pressure 93 okay agility 92 acceleration 91 change of direction 87 Ball carrier vision, 95. I don't know if that actually matters or not in this game. 81 carrying. I mean, for a quarterback, I don't know. For a budget quarterback, he might do the job to keep it a stack. Randall Cobb. Hmm. Okay, Randall. 94 speed. No power up. So he don't really, I mean, what? You put him on a theme team, he have, what, 96 plus sprinter? Give him two mo 98. Mm, not terrible you feel me 98 speed 94 catching 92 catch of traffic don't know if that really matter deep route running suspect at 89 i don't know about that one. i don't know man for a theme team receiver not terrible not terrible i can't complain about him especially for a veteran card that you could pull out of a uh, training roll not terrible if you need him I'm pretty sure we went over every single veteran card that came out today but we're gonna get into these rerolls now y'all let me know if these rerolls been fired for you i spent about uh, I want to say like 200k train. I don't even think I ever even seen this one, but I know they say quick sell the 90s and then keep the everything else. I never even seen this this little thing right here. I ain't even gonna lie to you guys. I ain't never seen the animation for the veterans. <laughs> this is the first time me seeing it. So I don't know. It's not terrible. You know what I'm saying? We're gonna see if we pull some heat. We're supposed to quick sell the 89s and 90, if I'm not mistaken. And then you keep everything else like 94, 95 to see how much profit you make, right? Hopefully we don't get finessed and get bodied by the by the training you know what i'm saying 93 tyrod taylor i don't know if i'm supposed to quick sell him or am i supposed to keep him i guess i'm gonna just quick sell everything below a 93 and 93 shot quick sell 93s or not i mean this is what like times two training i'll keep him for now i'll keep him for now we'll see how the set goes we'll keep him for now we'll just see if if he's fire i mean if we if we start like going down and training we might end up quick selling him but We'll see. We'll see. Hey, let me know if you Okay. Okay. Randall Cobb. Okay. I see you, boy. I see you. Okay. We and that's 130k right there. You feel me? I like that. I like that. I'll probably hold on to these for a little bit. Or cause I'm probably gonna need some training tomorrow, depending on what LTDs drop. Who knows? If they drop some heat, I might be pulling. If not, yeah, that's tough. You feel me? That's tough. So far, so good though. I think we only spent like I think I started with 1.4 mil. So we probably spent about 270K on training or 170K on training. One or the other. 
I'm gonna just say we spent 200k on training. That's what we're gonna go with. Kawan Alexander, do I quick sell him or keep him? Because we got 293s right now. So that's basically 77. That's 140k. I think we already made profit on this. I can't even lie to y'all. This is actually might be fire, to be honest. But I ain't gonna tell y'all it's fire and y'all get to doing it. Y'all get to get a bad luck. You feel me? That's that. Hey, listen, that ain't got nothing to do with me. And y'all can't blame me. For doing something that worked for me and then i suggest it man that's like me drinking a soda and i'm like yo this soda fire and i like the soda so i'm gonna suggest it to y'all but if y'all don't like the soda then that's on you you feel me that you just don't like it but i like it still so we get a that's our first 89 i think if you get 89s you're really gonna take an l but so far so good we already i feel like we already profited right we did have 14k training on reserve so we i would say we probably spent at somewhere closer to like 300k training I want to quick sell him because I want to pull some higher. I got 283s, I mean 293s already. So we're gonna go ahead and quick sell, quick sell him and pull some fire. These packs do feel like they're hitting though. I can't even lie. They are they are doing some damage, but we're gonna see. We're gonna see. Cause you could instantly get 489s, 490s, boom, and that's all your training. You know what I'm saying? So I think you probably want to reset. Maybe we're gonna see. Maybe, maybe not. I'm gonna just see. If I keep pulling 89s. I think if I pull three 89s in a row, I'm going to reset, right? See, I'm speaking 89s in, 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 in existence. And listen, there's going to be a hot L, hot garbage if I keep pulling 89s. But how y'all teams looking so far, man? Y'all put that down in the comment section. Let me know, man. Talk to me. Talk to me. Let me know what's the, what the vibe like. That's two. If we pull one more 89, we got to pull out. You can't just keep you can't just keep getting done in, bro. You can't keep doing the same thing over and over again, expecting different results. You feel me? I see a lot of people on twitter telling me like that these rerolls is hitting yeah we got it we got to pull out bro come on now you you can't we can't we can't we can't we i'm gonna just hit the quick back out if i say pull out anytime we're just gonna hit the quick back out we're gonna leave ultimate team we're gonna reset now sometimes you could reset your packs by doing your daily challenges if you haven't done your daily challenges and you re-rolling i strongly suggest you go ahead and do your daily objective you feel me play your two games you already didn't open up so many packs it i just think it resets the luck you feel me i think that EA is not going to keep blessing an account that doesn't play the game. That's just my opinion. You know, I, I feel like, yes, it may be random number generators, but come on now. For you, they gonna, they not because you basically going to be farming coins, and they really don't want nobody farming coins. So that's just my opinion. That's just what I think. I think that if you don't do your daily objectives, they could finesse you, you feel me, and just keep ripping you. So right now, we went 489s. I suggest if you can't afford to lose the training, do not try this. That's just my opinion. If you can't afford it, don't try it. People ask me all the time, should I do this? Listen, I'm five, 80, five 89s in a row. You feel me? EA's like, listen, bro, you ain't did your daily objective. You feel me? It's, it's looking ugly for you. And that's just my opinion. I could, that's superstitious. You know what I'm saying? I could be wrong. I put a 95 right here. Okay, 93. So do we quick sell this? Hell yeah, we're going to quick sell this because we want to pull some heat. Now, I'm going to be honest with y'all. Just, just to keep it a stack, if you started with a lot of training, I think you could make this work. I think obviously you're going to get some dry spills like I just did. I just hit, what, 589s? And then you might hit a couple other dry spills. You feel me? You might hit like 590s. But overall, if I hit 690s, I'm not even tripping because that would be only 6,000 training that I lost if I hit 690s in a row. Because every time you quick sell a, a 90, you get 5,000 back. You feel me? So right now we down 2,000 training. Not that big of a deal. I'm not hurting because we just gained so much training from quick selling that 93. And if you really want to do this for profit, I would say keep the 93s, you know what I'm saying? Just get in, get out, you feel me? You could always reset the set, you know what I'm saying? Get your profit, sell the cars, and then buy some more cheap training and do it all over again. But me, I'm a risk taker. I want to pull a bunch of 95s. I want 695s in my binder as of right now, you feel me? So we're going to keep pulling and see what the vibe's like. Tyrod Taylor, get him out of here. But see, that's not bad, right? Because we just rolled three uh, 90s, which means we lost 3,000 training. But then when we get Tyrod Taylor... We go ahead and we put in 6,000, we get 14 back. And then if you take three out, uh, I think that's 11. So we still gain 5,000 training. So that's not terrible. You feel me? That's not terrible. I think if I did that math right, I did it right. If I did it wrong, it is what it is. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes you do, players fuck up too. You know what I'm saying? Players mess up too. So Ryan Fitzpatrick, <laughs> that's tough, man. So it seemed like it's hot and cold. And I don't suggest you to do this with like 20K training. If you do this with 20K training, you, you're going to take an L. I think you need at least... 50k plus in my opinion so you can keep re-rolling and then you're not stressing off of taking the l and pulling the 89 you know what i'm saying because right now i'm not stressing off of pulling the 89 i'm just like hey it is what it is i can't do nothing about it so i'm gonna just keep pulling it but i think if we keep pulling some heat you feel me i would keep going with this so i haven't pulled anything above a 93 in a minute so 95s even i haven't even pulled 94 yet so it, it it's hit or miss obviously every every re-roll is gonna be hit or miss 
Some people, I seen on Twitter, somebody made a million coins off of this. You feel me? So, like, it's possible. It's definitely doable. But do you have enough training to keep re-rolling? Because I, I think, personally, it's just like the uh, the training variety set. If you keep re-rolling the training variety set, eventually you're going to pull some heat. And that's just how it is. You feel me? Like, over and over again. If you keep doing something over and over and over again, you're going to pull some heat. EA is going to cover you at some point. So, I think we started this re-roll from our last 93 at 40K training. So we down about 10k training right here. So and we just gonna keep we keep getting we keep getting tanked. You feel me? We keep getting hit. And I would argue that it's probably time for me to reset, go do my daily objective, come back. But I'm gonna just see if I I get some type of different luck. You feel me? If not, it is what it is. I can't do nothing about it. 89 golden tape again. So we really we really they really they taking a dump on a straight dump like big dump. I'm talking about like gorilla dump. I don't even know what gorilla dump look like, but at the end of the day, we getting shat on. You know what I'm saying? Uh, Golden Tate, bro, stay out of my packs, bro. I don't want you. I don't want you. No, I don't need you, bro. I need a 95. Randall Cobb, come back, bro. Come back. We miss you, bro. Randall Cobb, RG3, you know what I'm saying? Come back. Come back, you feel me? I need you right now. So, y'all seeing this. Y'all seeing this. Like, it could be else. You could pull some, some, tr some trash. But you do have an opportunity of pulling some heat. So, it's hit or miss. It's hit or miss. I'm, I think if I pull some, bro, Golden Tate. I don't want you. I don't need you. But this this goes to, to tell you exactly how I feel about the daily objective. If you go ahead and do your daily objective, you could potentially reset. Because I just feel like EA is not going to allow. Look at this. Come on now. EA is, they're hoeing me right now. They're not going to allow me to pull no heat unless I go and show that I'm playing the game. Because then technically I'm already a coin hoarder. Like, I know y'all might not think about it like that, but that's just the way I think about it. But like, we haven't pulled no, nothing good in at least 10 pools so if you're not ready to lose this training you feel me just good luck you know what i'm saying good luck to you you feel me because if you if you're ready to lose it yo go balls deep but if not carlos hot we just gonna stop i'm gonna stop there only because i want to show y'all how much we made versus how much we lost i can't remember how much training we started with i think it was like close to 55k training right i could be wrong but if i'm wrong correct me but i think it was 55k training so let's quick sell this we made, we made a little training profit, you know what I'm saying? So he will sell for about 130 after taxes. We'll probably get back 117. These sell for about, I'ma say probably, let's just look at the prices real quick and see what the vibe's like. So 79, so let's just say we'll get back 70K for all of these, right? So we're talking about 210 plus 117. What is that, like three something? I'm gonna just say 330 because I don't feel like thinking about the math. So 330K, we spent way less on training, maybe about... 240k maybe so we're talking about maybe like 60 70k profit somewhere around that range but like i said if you can't afford to lose the training don't try this but if you can afford to lose the training go ahead give it a shot i hope y'all enjoyed this video man don't forget to leave me a like subscribe to the channel if you're new i'm gonna see you on the next one i'm out peace